Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Pokemon Diamond video. In the last part, we, we caught Dialga in like three or four uh, Dusk Balls because we uh, I was filming at night and I'm still filming at night. As you can see right here, you can probably tell. Um, let's go to um, the Valor Lakefront though, which is um, west or east of um, Pastoria. So if you go on the same route I'm going, then you'll find it and you'll be there and it'll be awesome. So yeah. Let's just have to go through the hotel again, and yeah. So, by the way, if you keep, I think the route to Sunny Solar City is actually um, uh, you know, not blocked off by that one guy. They've restored power, I guess, you know. But we'll get to that later. We want to catch the Fiddly Lake Pokemon, and then we can head for Sunny Solar City because that's the order I want to do it in. Honestly, I thought that was like the best order. Now, keep in mind that the Legendary Lake Pokemon, the Fiddly Lake Pokemon, will be like level fifty, I think. So it'll be like. Probably a little bit over your highest level Pokemon at this point, depending on if you do a lot of you know grinding or not. If you don't do a lot of grinding, then probably be like a couple levels higher than your highest level Pokemon. Let's put a repel on. Um, yeah, let's. Okay, I was in the right pocket. Jeez. So before I want to go into this cavern that you're seeing a second right there with the entrance in it, that's where Azelf is, and the lake, the all the lake water returned that um lake with Valoi after um you know Team Galactic blew it up and all that. So that's good. Here's TM25 Thunder. I wonder if anyone can win that. I don't think I want to teach it to anyone, but I'm just curious. I might want to teach it to someone, but I don't know. Because I can't... You know, I want to give Thunderbolt, as I, as you see right here. Which kind of stinks. So can anyone land Thunder? I didn't mean to do that. Jeez. Thunder, okay. Yeah, no one can land Thunder either on my team. Jeez. Okay. Just out of curiosity, I was wondering that. So, that's good. And all the three lake Pokemon will have a very powerful, t uh, HM, uh, uh, in the same area as them. You just have to surf around it and go to the grass land, the grassy area and where it's at. But here's the cavern. Let's talk to, uh, Yuxi, or not Yuxi, but Azulf. Um, right here, you, it's a good time to save your game if you want to like, search in nature, if you want to try to like shiny, get shiny Azulf here. But, um, it takes a lot of stuff resetting and stuff for both those things. To, at least to which you have to catch it first and then you can finally see what nature it is really unless you have a pokemon that can like trace its nature like if you have like a i guess a Ralts, but that's not really till after game with migrating pokemon and all that but um let's talk to azelf and see if we can catch this thing this is some great music and i like that transition too that fade and zoom and fade and transition i think sony vegas press 13 has a zoom and uh transition like that what's like crossfire or something like that so uh, let's start with a um, let's start with a Shadow Ball. See how much that does. It's gonna use Nasty Plot. Okay, you don't want Azelf to um, you know, get too many Nasty Plots up because that could be really bad. So just a fair warning. It's level 50, as I said. So I was right on that. Let's see how much this does. This does about half. Dang it! I wanted to do a little bit less than that. Okay, let's go for the Sludge Bomb then. Let's get his Future Side on us. Okay. Gotta watch out for that later. Because it's a future site. Don't poison it. Do not poison it. This is take one, by the way. Me trying to catch Azelf. No! Sludge Bomb fainted it. Are you kidding me? Uh, I'm gonna have to stop reset. Which kind of stinks. Okay, back here. I'm, I learned that um, I'm gonna grab the TM. And hopefully this won't be a fail recording when I first grab the TM. I'm just gonna save my game in front of the legendary. That way when I stop reset, I'll be right in front of it. So I don't have to recollect the TM. And I'll, if I do, if it does like have a failed recording, then I'll just show like so that, that, that that's where you, you get TM twenty five thunder or whatever the TM is gonna be. So actually, let's um with this it's saved now. We can actually just take on Azelf again. Yeah, this thing is like I think Azelf's my favorite out of the like Pokemon actually. So this is just take two. So um I fainted as I knocked out Azelf and fainted it on my first take, which kind of sucks. Let's go for the um. Let's see how much Gidrain does. It's gonna use a nasty pot again, okay. Okay, you give your special attack, I see what you're doing there. So Giga Drain, it shouldn't knock it out, because I don't think it will knock it out. Oh good, that does the, actually the right, right amount of damage I want it to do. So as long as I don't get a critical hit, that'd be great. Let's give you a nasty pot and raise its um, special attack. Uh, I forgot to use a quick ball my first turn, jeez. 
Well, it's too late for that now. We have to go with the Dusk Balls, I guess. It's my best bet because we're in caves or an Ultra Ball. Either one of the two. Okay. Okay, let's go for a um, Dusk Ball then. I have 12 of them, so that's good. Because I bought some more in the last part. Let's see if we can catch this thing. One. Dang it, it got my hopes up with one shake. Let's get this uproar, okay. Uproar is a normal type move. So I think I can... Whoa! Oh yeah, because it raised up a special attack, I guess. Well, Bronze can take those uproars for days since it's a normal type move. And Bronze is half steel type, so that's good to know. Let's try another Dusk Ball, see if this one catches it. Nope, of course, it doesn't even shake once. It's gonna use uproar again, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of locked into using uproar, kinda. Pretty sure it is. If you have, if you have a Pokemon uh, that that knows soundproof or has ability soundproof, um, then I don't think it has off contention because I think uproar is like the only offensive move it has. But for me, I don't have a Pokemon that knows that has drought that has soundproof, which kind of stinks. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have to deal with that, I guess. So uh, let's go for a bag and let's just another try another. Dusk Ball. Okay, we got this. One. Oh my gosh. You're getting my hopes up, Azulf. You're getting my hopes up. Let's see how much this upward does on bronze. It does have plus two or plus four actually special attack because he messed about twice. So, yeah. I'll just use another Dusk Ball, I guess. Nope, it's not even doing a thing. Great. Well, you're gonna use uproar again. Jeez. How many dusk balls do I have left? I have like eight, I think. Okay. I wanna at least shake it. Come on, shake twice at least. Are you kidding me? Do I have to switch up? I might have to try a different pokeball because dusk balls aren't really working right now. Oh my gosh, this uproar is so annoying. I'm gonna have to heal up bronze actually. Which I don't mind doing, it's just that I don't really feel like dealing with this, you know? I have 14 hyper potions. Let's use the hyper potion then. Even you have like plus six at special attack now, which really sucks because you can you, you've been sweeping through my team after that happened. So yeah, let's use another ultra ball. Hopefully this one catches it, so we can actually just um no, of course not. So we can actually try to go after the, your friend Yuxi in the next part. But obviously, obviously you're just gonna be stubborn and not like go in the ultra ball. I'm gonna try another dust. I'm gonna try a dusk ball after this, see if that helps. But I get, I don't know if I can live another turn with Inferno, especially if this thing uses confusion. I probably jinxed myself. Yeah, it's gonna use confusion. This will probably knock out Inferno. Yeah, that kind of sucks. That sucks so bad. Yeah, okay. Let's use a soft reset. Try this again. Take the B. I want to catch this thing so bad. I mean, I'm at 17 minutes in real time for this thing. Okay, so I'm gonna go for the quick ball first. I almost forgot to use throw another uh, throw a quick ball, but let's see if this quick ball catches it. You want to use it on the first try. It's most effective when you first use it on your first turn in battle, and it didn't even shake once. Of course, I'm gonna use one more quick ball, but after that, I'm probably gonna switch to weaken it down. To weaken it down. Okay, confusion is super effective on Rose because it's half poison type. Great. Okay, Bros took it like a champ. Okay. So I'm gonna use another quick ball. Hopefully this one might catch it, but I doubt it. Usually the first the, the, the first turn is the, the best and most effective. One, two, three. No! Ah oh, man, that shook twice. Okay, I'm gonna try one more quick ball. And obviously, you know, you see Rose going down, which kind of stinks. Well, I wanna try one more quick ball. But I'm pretty sure I can't even catch it on the third quick ball because it's losing its effect as the time uh, as we use more turns in this battle, you know? Let's go to um, bronze then because bronze is my tank for this battle. Okay. Let's go for bag and now let's use a quick ball. Yeah. Our last quick ball that we're going to use, I promise. <laughs> so let's see. Um, 
Nope, it doesn't shake once, okay. It was worth a try. Down to 7 HP for bronze, okay. Charger ball hits, awesome, let's see how much it does. It does... Yeah, it knocks it off, of course, okay. Soft resetting again. I just want to catch this Zazzle. This is like take four now, so yeah, just go on the go on the quick ball when I throw it at you. Okay, that's the plan. Just go on the quick ball. There we go. Nope, of course you don't even shake once. Ah oh, man, don't use confusion. Don't, yeah, you use confusion. Hopefully it's not a critical hit though. I probably just jinxed it there. Cause last time it did a little bit over half of Rose's HP. Okay, it did about the same. A little bit over half. Just another quick ball. I just want to catch this thing. I just want to catch this thing because uh, I've been recording for over 21 minutes now in real time. One, two. Are you kidding me? That shook twice again on the second quick ball. Jeez, just come on, Azo. Don't be a jerk. You've, you've already plus two again attack on special attack for Rasmus. <laughs> this is not good. I don't like this at all. Let's use one more quick ball because third quick ball I guess is uh, where it ends with the hole being effective. Yeah, okay. Yeah, Galvin, you're probably gonna get confusion on me. Nope, against Nasty Pot again, okay. Let's go to Inferno. I don't know why, but we can try a Flame Moon. Hopefully it won't knock it out. Just trying to test my moves and what my Pokemon moves won't, and what it will faint it and what won't faint it, you know? Just so I know for the future. This is take four, I believe, too. Nope, oh, critical. Are oh, you kidding me? A critical hit? Are you kidding me? That's not a take four. Azov, I just want to catch you. Come on. I just want to catch you, Azov. You don't want to be my friend at all, do you? I guess not. And Azelf doesn't have- is genderless actually, because it's legendary, so it's an it. Azelf is an it. Let's use a quick ball before I accidentally attack it first. Okay, quick ball, let's go. One. Oh my gosh, Azelf, you suck. Come on, you just gotta be- I'm further- I'm further away from my mic because I just want to lay back for once because I've been sitting- I've been uh, sitting up on my chair. For like the past like 20 minutes so so uh, i'm further away from my mic hopefully you guys can still hear me but uh let's use another like let's use another quick ball why not one two oh my gosh you haven't even shook three times yet come on just come on <laughs> as just stop being such a jerk i don't like you as i don't like you right now it's causing up or it's making up or that's great. Yeah. Okay, let's use one more quick ball. Hit shake three times and click. Lunacha. One. Okay, not be nine minute. Yeah, good, you calm down. I'm glad. One. Two. Three. Thank you. I finally caught Azulf. I've been recording for the like um, exactly in half an hour right now, and that's not so bad actually. It only took me half an hour to catch Azov, but obviously it'll be edited down and stuff. Okay, Azov number 140 in the Pokedex. It's Azov, of course, the will the willpower Pokemon, pure psychic type. Its height is one foot exactly. It weighs 0 0.7 pounds. Um, known as the being of willpower, uh, it sleeps at the bottom of a lake to keep the world in balance. That's pretty cool. And Azelf looks pretty cool. Given it to Azelf, okay. Let's name him. Since Azelf is blue, let's name him, um. Let's name him Azul, because I think that's Spanish for blue. Azul? I could be wrong. It's been like a couple years. It's been like maybe like five or six years since I've taken Spanish. Yeah, about five, six or seven years actually. Azul. <laughs> it kind of sounds like Azelf, kind of. It has an Az, um. You know, I don't even think I spelled that right, but that's okay, I don't care. But yeah, it kind of sounds like Azov, cool. So actually, now that we've caught Azov in a Dusk Ball, like we caught Dialga in a Dusk Ball, Dialga is a lot easier because Azov actually has like a catch rate of like 3, I think. And then Dialga, as I said before, has the same catch rate as like a Chansey. So let's fly. 
And the next legendary like Pokemon we want to catch is actually in Snowpoint City. Um, it's up, it's gonna be you can see the, uh, the the being of intelligence, I should say. And as it, I forgot to mention before, but you know, obviously, as its Pokedex uh, description, Azelf is a being of willpower. As we and we kind of mentioned that before when we were fighting Team Galactic too. So I'm gonna heal up real quick. Oh yeah, by the way, um, um I think they're almost short summary. So let me do that real quick. Um, move Pokemon, I guess. Yeah. So Azelf is level 50, so here's its summary. Um, it's a piercing type, as I said before. The gentle nature, uh, met at the Veloi Cavern, um, good endurance, like Dialga, and, but it likes bitter food. Uh, its move, ability is Levitate, which makes ground types um, moves. Um, it doesn't affect, it's not affected by any ground type moves like Earthquake or Dig, but unless you use the move Gravity, I guess, I guess that's the only exception. And with Confusion, Uproar, Future Side, and Nasty Plot, so that's pretty cool. So there's your summary for Azelf. So for the next, um, as we said, I'm gonna go after Yuxi next, but that's not for the next part. So yeah, this has been the end of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Good part. The next part, we'll take on uh, the um, like Aquity Cavern and uh, get and hopefully catch um, Yuxi. So yeah, this has been Go again. I would like to thank again. Goodbye, and I'll see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide.